ancient Roman fries. The Romans didn't have potatoes or tomatoes, which are native to the Americas, but this recipe from the 4th century cookbook Apicius bears a striking similarity to French fries and ketchup. Apicius says to fry parsnips in olive oil, I used my extremely authentic 4th century air fryer, and top them with a sweet, salty, savory sauce called buenogaro. This was a standard condiment used with many recipes, and the name comes from a combination of the Greek words for the two main ingredients, wine and fish sauce. To make it, you reduce wine over the stove and add fish sauce and two spices, black pepper and lavage, which has a flavor and smell similar to celery. A starch slurry is used to thicken the sauce. I used cornstarch, but the Romans extracted starch from wheat. At this point, Apicius says that honey is optional, but I think it really takes it to the next level. This is probably my favorite ancient Roman recipe ever. It fits right into a banquet of other Apicius recipes, but it would also fit in at a modern table. The Romans did consume ground meat patties, and upper-class Romans ate flavored shaved ice as a delicacy, so if you're looking to start a restaurant, how about an ancient Roman diner complete with burgers, shakes, and 